Hey guys, this is Catropolis again, and this is the official final video of 2023. As we are closing off the old year and starting off a new year, I just want to let you know that in the new year, I'm not going to be uploading videos as much. I've said this before last year that my goal for 2023 was going to be not uploading as many YouTube videos a day. I, I did say that, but there have been times over the year on and off that I've caught myself off guard and need to get back on track. But 2024, I hope, is a better year and that... My goal for 2024 is to not be on social media as much because I want to better manage my mental health and my relationship with my family. So I'm only going to be uploading maybe once or twice in every two weeks, hopefully not more than more than I intended. Another reason why I'm making such a change is because I also want to improve my academic levels and also take care of responsibilities like household chores and whatnot. And I'm also going to be taking a hiatus from recreating emergency alert scenarios that were based on real life experiences that I've been through in the past. Like recently, I did a reenactment of the 2020 firestorms and the snowmageddon and the flooding of 2019. Those are all in the past and I have no more historic events to recreate at this time, so I'm just going to take a, a long hiatus from all of that. So to speak, I really, really want to get back into more physical activity instead of spending nearly all day sitting on sitting on a chair or on my bed looking at my phone and not doing anything else productive and that just makes me easily tired and I've read my research shows that internet addiction or social media addiction makes you severely fatigued and you don't get anything else productive taken care of and that's just a waste of time and I totally regret that, so I just want to better manage my physical and mental health, mental health for the most, because over the years I've heard that a lot of stuff happening on social media is not always positive. I mean, it's all the neg negativity that's too much for me to handle, so I need to step back and just enjoy who I really am and embrace the purpose that I have in my life. I've also researched over the year that um, social media is a really bad influence to people these days, and it's a bad influence to not only your mental health, but your relationship with your friends and your family. And it doesn't really make me feel any better. So I'm just going to moderate my social media usage and just be careful what I'm exposing myself to while I'm on the internet, because if it's anything negative, it just makes me feel down and feel anxious and depressed, and 
that I didn't want to do that to myself and plus the stuff that people post online these days are not not really uplifting they're just so negative and I'm like ah eh, I'm just not going to engage in that so I'm just going to like okay we need to step back there is a powerful message that I have found with my in my research about the internet addiction and social media addiction it says your smartphones or your cell phones have replaced your camera, replaced your computer, replaced your calculator and replaced your calendar. However, do not let it replace your family. Do not let it replace your friends. It's very sad that today in the modern world that the um, smartphones and the social media addiction, I mean, social media itself has been a toxic atmosphere for, for several years. I mean, it's gotten worse since the late 2010s and early 2020s during the dark times. So, now that we are one step closer to the mid-2020s, I I just want to say we've had enough with this toxicity. It's time for us to disengage from that disengage from that yeah, disengage from that environment and just be the person who I'm meant to be. So anyways, I mean I just want to take a, I do want to moderate my social media usage, but I'm not leaving YouTube, I'm not leaving YouTube anytime soon, so, but I'm just going to be cautious to how much social media I'm, u I'm using, and if it starts to affect my mental health, then I'll just step back and just take a break and not let the bad stuff get the best of me and so anyways that's all I have to say so say one last goodbye to 2023 and I wish you all a happy new 2024